Good morning, and welcome to our daily devotion for March, for Friday, um, March 11th, as we continue to look at the one another's in Scripture. Today we're looking at be kind to one another, and we have two Bible passages we're going to read from. Excuse me, the first one comes from Luke chapter 6, verse 27. But I say to you who hear, love your enemies, do the good to those who hate you, bless those who curse you, pray for those who abuse you. We also read from Ephesians 4, verse 31 and 32. Let all bitterness and wrath and clamor and slander be put away from you along with malice. Be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another as God in Christ forgave you. Be kind to one another. At first, this idea of be kind to one another might just sound like another way of saying love one another. But be kind is kind of an attitude with which we do everything around us. Now, so is love. But in this reading, especially in the Ephesians reading, Paul is kind of comparing and contrasting what this kindness we are called to have looks like. And we need to look at what the contrast is. Let all bitterness and wrath, anger and clamor and slander be put along aside as you be kind to one another. Bitterness, anger, wrath, slander. All these are things that we do when we're trying to defeat someone, when we're angry with someone, when we view someone as an enemy. Bitterness, wrath, anger. Love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. Be kind to one another. You know, we have had, we as people of God, we struggle with this kindness, don't we? we? We may love one another, but we're not necessarily kind to one another. We may be united as the body of Christ, but we're rather angry and bitter and sometimes spiteful with one another inside the body of Christ. Now, we're never going to be perfect. Okay, and if you're looking for a church that, that is only kind all the time, um, you're never going to find it because the church is full of broken, sinful people just like you and I. And we struggle with these negative attitudes. We struggle with anger. We, we struggle with wrath. We struggle with slander. We struggle with all these things. We struggle with being kind. Now, I, I've heard it said that when you're seeking to watch what you say. First question you ask yourself is, is it true? Second question you ask yourself is, does it need to be said? Third question you ask yourself is, the way I'm, is the way I'm saying it kind? You see, that kindness really shapes how things are perceived. A person who is kind and consistently shows that they are caring for, for folks and that kindness is part of who they are can, can, can have difficult conversations with people and it's accepted because people know they are attempting to be kind. Being kind to one another means we're not doing things out of anger. Being kind to one another means we're not seeking to slander people so we can get our own way. Imagine what our church would look like if we sought to be kind to one another every day. Now, it might take a little bit longer to get into church because we would be opening the door for each other and saying, go ahead and go first. No, you go first. No, you go first. Yeah, that kindness, that's nice kindness, okay? Just don't get into an argument about who doesn't go first then because then we're not being kind. Instead of immediately thinking about the worst of things, thinking kindness with what the other people are uh, attempting to do. We get into debates over foolish stuff instead of focusing on the kindness we are called to share. That kindness is a witness. Because as we are kind to one another, outsiders see how we treat one another, and they want to be part of that. If all your friends outside of church hear about church is angerness, frustration, bitterness, 
Why would they ever want to come? But if we share how we show all these one another's in kindness to one another, and how we listen to and respect one another's opinions, and how we support one another in their ideas, how we seek to be kind instead of those other negative things. Man, that's a place other people are going to want to come and experience because we are all looking for a little bit of kindness. All of us have been there. We're at the grocery store. We really like to get out, but all the lines are a little bit long. And somebody looks at us and says, oh, you can go in front of me. I'm not in a rush. You're in heavy traffic and you need to get over a couple lanes and somebody lets you in. Kindness. It goes a long way to showing the love of Christ to a world in desperate need of it. Let's see how we can reflect that kindness in our conversations and in our relationships over the upcoming weeks. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we would ask you to fill us with the power of your Holy Spirit so that we can be kind, so that we can put away all anger and malice and slander, and we can show the world through our kindness to each other what it means to be a child of God. In your son's name we pray. Amen. You guys have a great day. I look forward to wrapping this up with our bonus devotion tomorrow morning.